Good day, this is Michael with Iconasys. Today we're doing a real-time workflow video communicating shooting jewelry in our newest jewelry photography light box. I have my camera connected via USB. I'm working with a Canon Rebel T5 camera uh, with a 60 millimeter lens and uh, our smallest jewelry photography turntable and I've enabled live view. And as you can see, I'll just put uh, inside, that's actually a real-time preview of what my camera sees as you can kind of see this uh, these uh, jewelry tweezers going back and forth in front of the camera. So uh, we've uh, enabled a real-time preview. We're just gonna adjust our camera tad here. And um, first and foremost, what I'm gonna do with this lighting studio is just adjust the lighting a tad. Um, the lighting is dimmable from the front, bottom, and the, uh, and the back of the studio. And there's also an LED strip light that I can turn off and on that will add a bit more sparkle. Now I noticed that when shooting diamonds, I actually want to get rid of that LED kind of sparkle light and I want to cover up the front just a tad. You're going to see these two kind of white um, things coming in on the side of the live view. Those are actually my kind of reflection panels that bounce the light back into the studio. So um, now that we've kind of optimized our lighting, we want to make adjustments to our camera settings. So I'm going to adjust my aperture shutter speed, white balance, sensitization, and uh, just optimize. So I'm going to capture a, uh, a pretty good quality image here. Um, at correct exposure levels. So let's just go ahead and we're just going to, uh, let's just capture that image. And we can see overall it looks pretty good. I can actually view a lot closer at one to one and see it's, it's a pretty good quality image. So um, the next thing that I can do in my last step, I'll want to adjust my focal point. Now I can do this through mouse clicks. As you can see, I can make changes via my mouse clicks to kind of optimize my focal point. I can actually reach over to the lens as well and just twist the lens left and right, the focal ring just to adjust my focal point settings. So we're just going to find optimal settings there. Um, and pardon me, I'll probably just make the adjustments through mouse clicks. I do find it a tad bit easier. And once that looks good, it looks pretty good. We're kind of focusing on the front of the stone here. Um, there's a shallow depth of field, but we can, uh, we should be able to get pretty good quality images. So let me just view one to one. Overall image quality looks pretty good there. Uh, and the last thing that we can see is we do have a pre-crop. So I can go and say only take a picture of what's inside of this area. So I don't need to shoot everything in the entire frame. Hit snap and again that's going to capture the image and upload it. So looking pretty good there. Um, we're going to want to get started with our 360 shooting sequence. I'm actually just going to delete all these previous images and hit the 360 button. And what that's going to do is uh, allow me into my 360 settings. So I'm going to start a preview here. And that's going to give me a full 360 preview of my gemstone that I'm shooting. And as it does that, I want to A, visually ensure that I position my object in the center of the turntable. And B, I want to adjust my crop marker around my subject uh, to ensure that as my object turns, it doesn't fall outside of this cropped area. So it looks like we've done quite a good job there with that. My last step will be to choose the number of frames. I'll shoot 72, hit start, and that's gonna automate my capture sequence in a turn, stop, snap workflow. Um, and as the images are captured, they're gonna be uploaded directly to my computer. So we can see the results there being captured very fast, very efficient. Okay, now we've completed our 360 image capture sequence. What I'll do next is select all my images using the batch selector tool and turn to the editing window where I wish to do some batch edits. We can see the max size image 1404 by 1404 as I chose to crop in a perfect square. I'm just gonna make a small little adjustment here. I'm just gonna increase my sharpness and just add a little bit of contrast using my levels tool. And the nice thing after I've made some editing changes, we do have a lot of tools inside of here. Um, but uh, I'll just make those basic changes. I can hit apply to all and in a batch process it's going to race through and apply to every single image in the sequence. And now that we've completed our batch image editing, I'm going to go ahead and output these. So I'll give this a name. I'll call this Diamond 360. Uh, you can choose to resize if required. Um, I'll actually keep the original high resolution images and you can also do some stuff like watermarking, uh, choose your resolution, but I'll just leave it with the standard settings here and I'll hit OK. And again, that's going to batch rename everything for me during the output step.
Okay, now that we've output everything, we're gonna open up our 360 view creator software that is included with the package. I will select images one through 72 and you simply drag and drop. This is gonna create an interactive 360 product view. Okay, so we've just output our 360 view here. Again, 72 frames, fully user interactive. Four different output options, HTML5, animated GIF, MP4 video with control, or just a standard MP4 video. Uh, you, they're also fully customizable, so I can say maybe I want, uh, let's use maybe it's some blue buttons here. Uh, I'll just reload the preview. And we can see now that the 360 view has different color player buttons. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is just choose my output size. Uh, the original images were at uh, 1400, so I'm just going to say let's do it about, we'll display it maybe 700 pixels by 700 pixels. I'll hit OK. That'll again reload the preview. And now we're ready for our output stage. So three different outputs you can output locally. Uh, that's just the local file that you can then take and host on your own servers or share with customers. Um, an uh, integrated 360 view file with all the supporting uh, files in, in that master folder. Uh, local plus uploadable, you can upload to our server as well as get a local copy or just a standard upload to our 360 view server. This is a 360 image hosting service, which will simply give you a uh, iframe or index embeddable file that you can simply drag and drop onto your website. Uh, so I'll just rename this and I'll just output locally for now. I'll just call this diamond 360 view. I will choose my output location and let's choose the same uh, Diamond 360 folder and I will hit the save button. And now that we've output that file locally, we'll inspect our folder here where we saved it out to and let's view this in a, uh, in a web browser. I'm just going to open up the index file and we'll be able to see the local file of what we've just created. Uh, again, a high quality interactive 360 product view. You can move left and right stop move frame by frame if required and then there's also a zoom tool should you wish to inspect nice and up close so uh, create it uh, yourself 360 interactive product views very fast very efficient and very easy for users of any skill level let us know if you have any questions thank you